I Want to Eat Your Pancreas is a very touching but depressing movie. You know in the first two minutes that Sakura is going to die, but it doesn't feel real until the end of the movie. Let's dive into this masterpiece of a story, and I'll give you my thoughts about every aspect of the film. This anime movie really struck a chord with me even though I was reluctant to like it at first. I am usually predisposed to dislike any highly praised anime before I watch it. It's just the way I am. But when I started watching I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, I instantly instantly liked it. The bubbly personality of the female MC, the soft and vibrant art style, and the premise of the movie. Sakura is going to die from a disease and she can't escape her fate. It seems like the film will have no surprises, no crazy twists, and nothing of value since the entire movie is based on a seemingly unchangeable path. However, it doesn't feel like Sakura is going to die. She is full of life and exuberance, and her disease is unnoticeable. She chooses to only let the main character know. At the end of the movie, she says that she had her eye on him for a while. And while that may seem like stalker behavior, I think it's a little romantic in this situation. Was it fate that she and he met? Well, I do believe that God has a plan for everyone, but humans make their own choices. We have the power to do whatever we want as we are capable of doing. But yes, God does have everything mapped out down to the last atom. I don't think that this movie was revolutionary in its philosophical opinions, but I do, however, believe that I want to eat your pain is one of the better made anime films. Let's talk about the main theme of this movie. There's an old saying in Japan that if you want to heal whatever is ailing you, eat that specific organ meat. So if your stomach is upset, eat stomach meat from whatever animal. Also, if you want to be like a person, you should eat a part of them in order to gain their personality and essentially part or all of their soul. It's weird for sure, but it paints a hauntingly beautiful picture of interpersonal relationships. Haruki, the main character, hates people and judges them before he gets to know them. Sakura relies too heavily on other people for her identity. If Haruki eats her pancreas, then he will have a complete personality. On a more serious note, the anime combines the main theme with the likable character's archetypes blossoming into an enjoyable watch experience. This is getting into heavy spoiler territory just in case you are still wanting to watch this movie, but yeah, it's absolutely shocking and a little off-putting when Sakura gets stabbed. Instead Instead of dying at a natural pace, her life is taken from her even earlier, but her impact on Haruki is life-changing. My man literally rewires his entire essence of self so that he can fulfill Sakura's wishes in her diary. I was pretty pissed that they decided to have someone murder her, but I've cooled off and understand now that it had a greater symbolic effect on Haruki and the way he sees people now. He lives every day like it might be his last, but not in some hedonistic way, pleasuring only himself. Rather, he makes an effort to befriend everyone while retaining his strong sense of self. So maybe he does actually eat Sakura's pancreas in a way. I'm not going to treat this film like I do others. I feel as though when I'm reviewing this one, talking about the production value would kill the vibe of its amazing story. Sure, it was depressing and saddening, but I think it handled the despair and closure very well. Was it better than A Silent Voice? Personally, I would say no, since A Silent Voice gets a happy end while I want to eat your pancreas feels like you were robbed of a proper emotional farewell. I still think this movie is a 9 out of 10 though. And I appreciate the little connections about things like their names representing springtime, Haruki, and cherry blossoms, Sakura. Overall, it was sad, but you honestly can't have a better movie about death and loss and finding a way to live. My favorite YouTuber Giga said that this movie wasn't about death, it was about finding out how to truly live. And while I agree with his opinion, I think there's a little bit more to it. I Want to Eat Your Pancreas established a futile premise, but it delivered an inspiring message about love, existence, and at the heart, I would say, acceptance of death and closure. Let me know what you guys thought about this movie in the comments down below, and please make sure to subscribe for more great anime reviews like this one. Likeable characters, complex themes, and a memorable conclusion. There's nothing more you could want in a dramatic film. As always, this is the Eagle-Eyed Samurai, signing off.